Hello Commanders and welcome in part 15 of the Imperial Zealandia series. Today we are going to witness a lot of action, a lot of news and other information that you are going to be interested to see. In the last uh, episode we saw that we have an unwelcome visitor which is the United States of America that has been parking his destroyers in the shallow waters of the Imperial Zealandia. Today we are going to prove to him that you are messing with the wrong person, you are messing with the wrong nation because Zealandia has a very fortified waters, has a very severe policy you only park your destroyers in our shallow waters with our permission without our permission you will be annihilated, you will be destroyed and all of your ships will be sunken down in the Pacific Ocean Meanwhile, I am also fortifying our presence in the Gulf of Aden because uh, if I am going to think to attack the United States of America I am going to expect retaliation from his coalition his coalition which is composed of Germany, France and Poland that they are very very strong here our stack of mobile artillery has wiped out the city of Lhasa in one single strike like I was speaking and saying I want to uh, fortify my naval presence in the Gulf of Aden in a case of uh, retaliation from his allies I will be prepared and I have naval presence there to prevent them from getting to the Indian Ocean and come to our coastal waters I know it's a difficult task these nations they are huge strong they are very big and they have stronger uh, economy but we are experienced we have a decent set of navy we have a decent set of expertise that can be used in this kind of situation and we are going to fight till the last moment till the last breath okay i am going to assemble my naval patrol aircrafts in front and in on top of this destroyer because it is so close to our coastal city and they do not want it to bombard my city of Dunedin now it is the moment of truth as i am going to declare war on United States of America and sink down his destroyer. Let's carry on. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm going to select this frigate and declare war. I am going to uh, focus on this one destroyer. The stack of attack subs has killed the one destroyer in one single strike. Okay, my two frigates has engaged the target. Now these naval patrol aircrafts that are patrolling over the destroyer, they are going to attack after their 10 minutes of patrol. But if you want to accelerate that and you want them to attack immediately, you can use the attack button or you can use the patrol button, but you just need to move your NPAs and they will strike immediately. Okay, the two destroyers, they are down. Now I am going to spread my naval patrol aircrafts all across our big intersections around us in the ocean to see where is the United States of America, where are his navies, where are his parked land armies. I want to see everything around me and keep my eyes prepared. Also, in the Indian front, I can see a, a land radar in the city of Patna, that is 100% Germany. So also, I am going to fortify my land presence on the Indian front. In case of a land invasion from Germany, we will be prepared. I am trying to move all my pieces around the map. In case of an European invasion on me, I will be ready and I will retaliate hard. I will strike hard and give them a message that the small nation of five homeland cities is not to be taken lightly because we started with five homeland cities and now we have an empire. We have an empire that took down all of Australia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Myanmar, Thailand, China, Japan, Mongolia, everyone in this region. And now we are stepping hard in front of the United States of America with a very strong message. Do not mess with us. Do not mess with us and send your frigates or destroyers to our coastal waters. Also another message for him. We are coming for you our navies they are already on their way to the pacific ocean i am going to surround hawaii here our stacks of frigates attack subs they are all going to hawaii also i am sending my our uh, national guard battalions after i bombard that city i'm going to take it down build an airbase and make it 
a step down for us to move to the United States of America or for the Pacific Coast. Okay, here I verified that our attack subs, they will be in high uh, seas, not in shallow waters. We, al we always have to verify that. I'm trying to close all of the intersections around my nation. I do not want him to slip around and uh, go to my homeland cities because I do not have land uh, defenses, only naval defenses and also air forces around us, naval patrol aircrafts and AUACs. You can see that we have a fortress, our empire, our nation, New Zealand, is uh, well surrounded by our stacks of frigates, attack subs. Even in a case of an ICBM or something, our frigates, they will step up. There is a naval radar here. Look at this. France. This is France. Wow. Look at that stack. Max level cruisers, max level destroyers. Looks like France. He knew that we are positioned in the Gulf of Aden and he wanted to show his presence. He wanted to flex his strength that Look at me, New Zealand, I have max level cruisers and max level destroyers. Yes, this combination of stack is very strong. And luckily, I do not have the cruise missiles yet. If I do have cruise missiles with my naval patrol aircraft, that stack is going to be totally useless. I can kill it within seconds, like seriously. I can kill it without within seconds, but without cruise missiles, um, it's going to be a bit tricky because a combination of cruisers and destroyers is going to be very strong against my frigates and also very strong against my attack submarines. Another thing, the defensive point against aircraft of that stack is going to be tough on my naval patrol aircrafts. Also another inconvenience that my naval patrol aircraft, they are flying from Australia, from the closest uh, airbase. So if I engage with my NPAs, they will take ages to refuel and go back and that is bad for us. Look at this. These are Polish land armies. Level 4 main battle tank, uh, level 6 motorized infantry and level 2 mobile on the air. Where Poland is going there? Where he is going? Look at this boys. France has conquered all of the continent of Africa. He has all of Africa. And also, he has also the Middle East. Bro, look at this. He already have 1,949 points. And New Zealand is the third with 1,044 uh, points. Okay, I genuinely know that they are coming for me now. They will prepare themselves to conquer me because they will only win this coalition win if they take down parts from the Empire of Zealandia. But there is something a little bit fishy here because France is being there, Germany is stacking his land armies in India and now Poland is sending his land armies there. I can judge that there is only me now in the Pacific Ocean, there is only me. All of Asia is conquered, all of Africa is conquered, so if they are present there, if their navies, they are in the Indian Ocean, if their land armies, they are in the Indian Ocean and in the Gulf of Aden, that means that they are thinking properly to start an invasion on the Imperial Zealandia. No problem, we are ready for that. We are ready for that and I, am, I will assure you guys that I will be the first one to strike. If you mention now, if you really uh, has realized that the Zealandian Navy is present in all the world now. We have navies in the Atlantic Ocean, in the Indian Ocean, in the Pacific Ocean. So they cannot actually stop us from attacking them where it hurts. Well, today we are at the end of today's episode. Yes, it was fun, but the fun is yet to come where when we are going to declare the war versus the Europeans and the big huge naval battle going to start. See you in the next episode and bye bye boys.